Hey guys, so BDC practice tomorrow, so I'm getting the car ready. Check out how organized I am. My list, so I've got to do an oil change, change spark plugs. Um, there's an, there might be an issue with this crank sensor, so I'm going to be checking the connection on that. And just check the bolts, do some tires. Not quite a few, but I want to make some new new sets up, uh, give it a wash, and then secure that front panel, which you can see in there, which keeps popping out. So you know that bottom bracket bit moving? Are all my bolts tight? Watch this. That's not tight. So I need to have a look at that. Out of the four bolts that hold this on, all of them were loose. And these were a little bit loose, there's a little, maybe a wee bit over there as well that was a wee bit there, but this one was properly loose. Total amateur hours. So I normally, like, I normally, like, uh, put the wee white lines so I can see. But I think these ones just got so dirty in here, I've cleaned it all up now that I just hadn't, couldn't see them. But all tight now, so hopefully steering works again. Right, all tightened up. The other one back here though, that is uh, that one in there, it's turning slightly so I think it's rounded. But there is no chance I am taking that off and kind of holding the chassis to sort out the threaded nut that's in there. That can be sorted another day, not the day before I need to go out. I'm not pulling my suspension apart just for one thing that's slightly not tight. Already, I just need to go out and find out if I've solved all my problems. I think I have. Well, I hope I have. I don't know if I have at all. Who am I kidding? Um, we've done quite a few little changes, like the so we've done spark plugs. Or actually, Chris has dialed in to the ECU and did a couple of changes to that too. Um, uh, just the everything sounds. So let's go have a play. We're in the lineup. Had a couple of runs. Still got this starter, like, been logging stuff. I'm gonna stop looking because there's nothing more I can do. I'm just gonna drive. I'm good. Let's go. Drive this car, Greg. Second.
and boost. That was one lap. Uh, I've been asked to check, there's a GP1 RPM limit one, which I think is to do with the oil, what do you call it, safety cutting in. And that happened once in this lap. On my statistics, it's showing it's happened. Uh, Chris, if you're listening, what does that mean? So it looks like we might have found the problem. Um, Chris has dialed in, see the power of the internet. And so this is the log from my very last run. And when pulling away from the start, I definitely had that stutter. And what we turned on was this thing called G GPRM limit. Now, now that is what's controlling my oil pressure safety. Now that then, what I did is, here's the statistics for that run. And that run showed that, it, that cut in once. And you can see in the log that it cut in once. Now, what that meant to was, uh, was reading the um, oil pressure was too low, so it then cuts the ignition. Now, you can see what I've done here is I've done a couple of gear changes, and it's probably going from second to third. It's registered it, and then it's it's cut the cut the ignition. So hopefully that's it now the really cool thing with a link is that we can do it in here we found it in the log and then hang on bye then we can go and check where it where it is in that tables and that shows where we were and that value in there i was just creeping into a zero chris has now modified it so we're, we've got a lot more like space so uh, that might be it. There's a few more stars, but I was just my shit driving. So we're back out again in 25 minutes. So then it's fixed. So hope it's fixed. So hope it's fixed. So hope it's fixed. So hope it's fixed. Behind the legend. Smart water cops gonna totally show us up. the end there. Fucking well done car like that was that was better. It's me though. It's all me about the driving now. I think that was all me just on it. There's a couple a little bit. I just need to fucking drive it better but oh god that felt good. It felt so fucking good. I'm so fucking happy. Oh please be the start of the fucking thing working well. Oh Totally almost took out that chicane though. I uh, just, you just oh, forgot to press record. Did a really good run there against some dude. It just started raining, so super sketchy. I should have done a good run as well because I drive this place all the time and he's probably only been here like a handful. It looks like my gas is just shattered. So, and I've got no gauges, which actually might be a good thing because I can't see anything to look at it. And I'm worried. I like to worry about numbers. 
my fucking heat. Right. Then where? down a decent lead. Jump on them. 
throttle balls, throttle balls. That's me back from BDC practice, car's all tucked up in the garage now. Um, I've checked the logs again on the link and I am noticing that a oil pressure safety is cutting in still a little bit. But we don't want to further lower the level it comes in at, so the solution is going to be changing it to this. So we're going to go, at the moment I've got a, I've got a 530 weight in it, so we're going to go to a 1060 weight. Uh, so in the next video, I'll show you the difference. We'll log all and see what the difference between a 530 and a 1060 is. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you could do the like, share and subscribe thing, supposedly that means it's good things for the channel. If you don't want to do it, I really don't give a monkeys, but thanks anyway. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.